today's video it is aimed at talking about the steps on how to become a registered nurse in the usa if this topic is of interest to you please hang on and let's dive into it hello amazing people welcome back to my channel is uche go here on this channel i talk about nursing in different countries fitness DIY and everything good if you're new to my channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you i do not take your presence for granted please subscribe have you subscribed write in the comment section saying i have subscribed anyways in today's video it is aimed at talking about the steps on how to become a registered nurse in the usa if this topic is of interest to you please hang on and let's dive into it step one would be the usrn requirements and what this requirement entails is that you need to have an international passport you need to have graduated or completed in an accredited school of nursing or a bsc you need to have a valid nursing license and you need to have your secondary school certificate now if you meet these requirements you proceed to the next step the next step would be to decide on which board of nursing you would want to register with preferably the one that does not require a social security number social security number can only be obtained when you are in the u.s as a resident now some states in the u.s that do not require a social security number are texas washington ohio virginia florida the u.s has 50 states and each of these states has its own board of nursing and each state's board has its own requirements for credential evaluation services that are being provided most of the states accept cgfns and joseph silney and these two credential evaluation services they also provide visa screen i would make a topic on visa screen on its own the next step is for you to head over to the cgfns website and start your registration you are going to register and select credential evaluation services for professional reports and i'll also make a video on a step-to-step -step guide on how to do this after completing your cgfns the last part will be for you to pay 485 dollars without this payment your credential evaluation would not be done after paying the 485 dollars you will receive a confirmation email from cgfns um, stating that your payments have been received now when you receive this confirmation email log back in into your cgfns account and print the transcript request form and your license verification form fill in your part on this form using a black pen and send it to the appropriate authorities such as your school and your board of nursing they will complete this form and send it back to cgfns now when cgfns receives this form they will take some working days for it to reflect on your account and then cgfns will email you stating that they have received these forms now when cgfns sends you this email you need to start your registration with your preferred board of nursing now when your ce reports which is your credential evaluation report is ready cgfns is going to send it to the board of nursing with which you have selected during your application for them and when you start your application in the board of nursing it is required for you to complete all the required documents and get them submitted because this application will last for one year if you do not complete it within a year you will be required to pay another money to start the application process again now each state's board has its own requirements for foreign trained nurses ensure that you read through and see all the requirements before you apply or ensure that you go through all the requirements and submit the documents required of you some board of nursing will require you to write or submit an english test some will require a jurisprudence exam a jurisprudence exam is an open book exam where you are expected to write about or answer about the rules and regulations about that state at this stage i believe you should have started reading at this stage you should have started reading because when all the requirements are met you will be issued an att an att is an authorization to test this enables you to register and book for your nclex then you would book a date write your nclex and pass congratulations and the final step will be to look for a job via a recruitment agency or 
look for it by yourself now for the recruitment agency they take away the burden of looking for a job for you and take away the burden of immigration filing premium filing and all of that but doing it yourself means that you find a hospital yourself you're going to be in charge of every other thing relating to immigration filling out and submitting all your forms and all of that now I'll tell you the downside with an agency for uh, for recruitment agencies some of them have you sign a contract meaning that you have to work for them for about two to three years and then when the hospital pays them they take a percentage and pay you the rest however if you're directly employed under a hospital the hospital will pay you directly also i would end by saying that there are direct hire agencies and there are regular recruitment agencies both of them have their own pros and cons. now i wish you all the best finally um the good thing with cgfns is that once you have registered with them i think joseph Sioni does that as well you can also use them for your visa screen your visa screen will be required of you when you've gotten a job and you need to move over to the us you need to go back to that ces or that credential evaluation service and apply for a visa screen this time if they already have your documents in the system or your details in the system it makes it a lot easy for for you to fill out the form and submit again i hope this video was of good help to you if you liked this video please give it a good thumbs up and please subscribe and comment you can also share this video to someone who is interested in becoming a registered nurse in the usa or in case you meet someone who needs the steps thank you